Your Honor, it is obvious that he was playing two primes in a competitive match. No sideline and his main. My horse. client never placed the Absorber Man Prime from the sideline onto the map. And you're going to see that not only never touched Rod paper, Jeter. you cannot adjudicate him. Order back. in the court. Please remind yourself, sir, of the precedent that Jalen Major versus the state of Ohio set in this courtroom. Hello, guys. Welcome back to day two of our Marvel Studios Disney Next Phase unboxing. This is technically booster number six. So let's get Wheels of Vengeance and the Guardians. How? What's going on here? Really excited to see what we get. I know I personally am really hoping for some Hawkeye pieces. I really liked that show out of all the ones here. I think Moon Knight Hawkeye were some of my favorite action sequences that we got on Disney Plus. So right off the bat, we have Wrecker. We have El Aguila. That's two of the Obama Stay characters. We have Valentina, we've already seen her. We've got Emil Blonsky, who should be leading the pack on them. And then we've got Kate Bishop, the common that we've already seen. Pop these guys out real quick. I really like El Aguila's sculpt. He's very Matador-esque. He was from the She-Hulk show and obviously all those characters brought like a fun little comedic kind of timing to the show, which was well needed at certain points. Let's see, we've also got an interesting little card backer here for the Heroclix Deadpool Weapon X set with a little Jeff the Shark on it. So stay tuned for that. All right, we've got Kate. We've seen Valentina. So we'll go into Emil Blonsky first. He has the Bombastay Mindfulness trait. Let's see, that gives him free. Remove an action token from Emil Blonsky. If you do, give an action token to a friendly character with the Obamaste keyword within four squares. A little way to exchange action tokens, keep them free. He also has a special damage power his whole dial that is self-help slogans, and that gives him empower and leadership. So bringing some empower and leadership to the Obamaste team. And there's actually an Obamaste keyword. He also has brute celebrity monster, some in cap, Flurry on his last click. I guess that means that he's changed into the Abomination on that click. Pretty fun little guy. And he's a wild card. Next up on Team Abomaste. This really is an Abomaste booster. And a booster may. Uh, Wrecker is the uncommon number 027 in the set. He comes in at 50 points compared to Emil's 30. And he also has Abomaste mindfulness as a trait that is free. Remove an action token from Wrecker if you do. Oh, it's the same trait, just specific to each character's name. So, yeah, you can free remove an action token from one and give it to another character with that keyword within four squares. He also has Intelligentsia, Wrecking Crew, and Brute keywords. He destroys blocking when he moves through it. And then he has a special attack power, his whole dial, that is Quake. When Wrecker uses it and destroys any terrain markers, give an action token to each opposing character that was adjacent to one or more of those markers. So a real explosive kind of incapacitate quake that he's doing. He also has that combined with exploit weakness his whole dial, charge his whole dial, and toughness his whole dial. So a nice little 50 point brute that's gonna add to the Abomaste crew, I guess. And then the Matador himself, El Aguila. So he is number 044 in the set. He's a super rare, which I think you can tell because of all the popping colors on his outfit there. He has the Obama Stay Mindfulness trait, same as the other ones. He also has a special attack power, his whole dial, that is Bioelectric Sword. Gives him Blades, Claws, Fangs, and when El Aguila uses it, increase the result of the roll by plus one for each opposing character adjacent to the target. That could be real nasty. That could be a pretty high blades roll. Increasing the result of the roll by plus one. Wow. Uh, that is combined with some charge top dial. He has a 12 attack with that blades. Only two damage, but he does have blades, so it doesn't really matter too much. And then he has leadership. Goes to sidestep with empower on the bottom end. And then he's got combat reflexes that goes into super senses. That's a fun little team I think it's going to turn out to be once we collect all of them. So right now... With those three, we have 95, 125 points of Obama's Day. I know there's plenty of others that they include. There's 
potentially the rest of the wrecking crew, who knows what all they'll throw on. But we'll see you for tomorrow, day three, Booster 7.